G'day you shifty bag of ding-dongs and welcome back to Payday 3. Now today we're going to be hitting up the local nightclub in Silicon Valley where all the 50 year old IT nerds that have never had any action go to take copious amounts of crack cocaine and get their boogie on in an attempt to temporarily forget their loneliness. And just between you and me, the amount of chalk that these psychopaths are smashing up their noses is equal parts impressive as it is absolutely terrifying. And our approach tonight is to go in on the hardest difficulty, no mask, no gun, and loot the place absolutely dry. And as a little added bonus towards the end of this video, I'll show you how to speed run this level in about three minutes flat to make an easy 400k US dollars, baby. As for our loadout, we're rocking the Ziv Commando, the SP Model 11, the Het 5 Red Fox, a light ballistic vest, a sentry turret, two throwing knives, two ECM jammers, and my skills are as follows. We have the basic infiltrator skill that gives us rush every time we successfully pick a lock or kill an enemy with a throwing knife. And we also have the aced variation that gives us rush when a guard begins to detect us. Thanks to quick fingers, as long as rush is still active, one lock jiggle unlocks the lock instead of the usual three or four. We also have bagger, which when rush is active, lets us bag loot 50% faster. We have the basic escapist skill, which gives us rush every time we sprint for three seconds or more. Then we have the basic grifter skill that gives us rush when we're within one meter of a civilian or an employee. We have walk the walk, which when rush is active and we're unmasked, allows us to walk past cameras in private areas without triggering them, as long as we don't do anything too sus. Then, thanks to social engineering, employees will ignore us when we're doing sus things like taking a massive hit on the floor as long as we're unmasked and have rush active. Then we have slippery, which allows us to escape handcuffs if we happen to get caught, but I don't think we'll be using this today at all. And we have hacker ace, which allows us to overload those cameras and stun anyone within range, though I do not believe this works on overkill difficulty. We have secure loop, which allows us to loot a camera's footage, making us undetectable. Routed ping that allows hacked cameras to automatically mark any guards or police within the area. And finally, glitch protocol, which hacks a guard's radio to cause a disturbance, stopping and distracting them, which is actually going to be quite handy on this mission. And as I said, we're going to be doing this mission stealth on overkill difficulty because I like making myself miserable. I also believe that one moron in the game is more than enough, so invite only it is. And here we are, the Neon Cradle, the lamest place on earth. Boy, I can't wait to go inside and join this party. This is literally like a club for... <laughs> for 40-year-old dads and like mums who are going through a midlife crisis and just want to smoke without their kids noticing. And for some reason, these guys don't want to let me in. I have no idea why. You don't get in. Why I don't get in? I do get in. Look, if I sit here and I distract you with radio, then I pick up the lock and nobody notices. Look at this. <laughs> Can I just like... Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave now. Anyway, this wouldn't make a particularly impressive video if I finished this heist in three minutes flat, so I'm going to do it properly, which involves me picking my way into the staff-only door just like this. Ooh, are you impressed? You know you are. Now, I need to remind everyone that this is overkill difficulty, which means that these Titan cameras are literally all over the bloody place. And there's a lead guard walking around looking for me, as well as more normal guards all over the bloody shop. As long as I duck and weave and sneak around like the slippery sardine that I am. Every <laughs> everything should be just fine. Hello there, how you going lady? I know this looks a little bit sus, but don't worry, it is. Then I'm going to sneak in here and go past the waiter. Nothing sus because Rush is active. Gosh, I love Rush. All right, so I suppose I should probably explain what the hell I'm doing. And that is trying to get to the VIP area, which first requires me to get a VIP invitation. Now, the VIP invitation is not easily accessible unless you happen to be a pro hacker like me. So watch me open this door which is the door to the manager's office. And then, ba-bam, VIP invitations to the Neon Cradle. Unfortunately, they seem to be behind a fence thing. And in order to get through this fence thing, I need to hack the director's phone. Speak of the devil, there she is right now. Hold on a sec. Oh, frick. All right, wait, wait. Wait. That's fine. We'll find her a little bit later. For now, I need to hack the mainframe. Now, this is what we're looking for. The crypto wallet located in the IT room. Apparently, all the club's money is siphoned into a crypto wallet every couple of hours, and if we escape with that, well, we get a whole bunch of bitcoins, which I can then use to increase the size of my micro P. And now that we know what we need to do, let's get out there and let's do it. Now, I don't know what old mate is doing over there, but I'm about to find out. Hold tight, Rifkin. I'm coming for your phone. I think she might actually be doing crack cocaine in the toilets. Hold on, let me have a look. Look up when you're walking. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, all right. That's definitely that. To me, that's somebody who's, you know, on the on the old Charlie horse mate. F- I'll need you to come with me. This area is restricted. Absolutely. I'm very sorry for this misunderstanding. Please take me outside. Now, while I'm following this guy, it gives me the opportunity to look over there and notice, okay, the decrypt is not on this level, which means that it's either in the VIP room or it's downstairs in the office that we ran through on the way up here. I should have been paying attention, but I wasn't because I'm an idiot. It's fine, though. Everything's fine, though. Sorry for coming inside. I'm leaving now. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it just so happens that the lady I'm looking for is out here. Hi, baby. How you going? Let me hack your phone. Then this is all we need to do. Stay close enough to hack the mainframe and boom, done. Then because I've got Rush active, even though she's the club manager, she doesn't think I'm sus. <laughs> <laughs> for running through the employee only section. That's great, isn't it? So now that we've hacked her telephone, we're going to head back upstairs and open up that case to retrieve the VIP invitations. And blip, 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 blip. We're in, baby. Open up the case, grab the invitations and that expensive artwork. I love this guy. He's absolutely fascinated by the security cameras. <laughs> Obviously new on the job. Uh, you know what they say? You love love what you do and you never you never do a day in your in your do. Hold on, that's not right. I mean, realistically, though, who cares? All we care about is getting the invitation and looting this place dry. This is what we're looking for. Now we'll hack the computer and validate these VIP tickets. Come on, computer, hurry the heck up. Clearance done. Thank you. And now I should be able to walk around the club without getting the shifty eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> raised at me. <laughs> Hold on. Is this okay? Is this okay? I don't think she's enjoying it as much as you are, bro. But look, if I'm being honest, I, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Actually, now that we're allowed in here, let's just walk around and have a look at all these weirdos in the club and what they're getting up to. Whoa. <laughs> all right, ladies, settle down. I don't know where you learn your dance moves, but that's highly inappropriate. It's also fascinating to me that I'm able to walk around the club with the duffel bag on my back containing expensive artwork and <laughs> nobody seems to care. Oh, yes, my the way this mission's very badly bugged so even though i should be showing this guy my invitation i i can't you just gotta press f like a thousand times until it finally works 20 minutes later excuse me sir i i wish to enter the vip club please take my invitation i've been trying to give it to you for about 20 minutes now Take it. One hour later. Please, sir, let me in. I want to enter the VIP club. I have a VIP after all. A very impressive pe- You got an invitation? Yes, I do. Take it, bro. I'm getting angry now. I'm going to slap you in a second. Take it. Take the- f Right. Oh, <laughs> finally. Thank you. God bless you. You're a wonderful man. Give me your bloody little key card. Thanks. B now, because we took that guy's key card, we can actually open up this door. The electrical facility, employees only. Is this guy looking? Is it? Is it don't look at me, bro. All right, now. <clears throat> this is where the magic happens. You see... We need to turn off the security system to get the crypto wallet. And to do that, well, we can flip one of these fandangled switches. The only problem, though, is that we don't know which one to flick. That's okay, though. We'll know eventually. Whoa, hold on. Strippers? All right, let's go take a look. Whoa. <laughs> It's a dude. He, he's very good at that. Yeah, he's, um, he's obviously had some practice. All right, well... Uh, all right. <laughs> back to loot in the place. Gosh, I love how I'm able to sprint through this club with loot on my back and nobody seems to bat an eyelid, even the lead guard. Look at that. And this is where I take the loot and I dump the loot and nobody gives a damn. Wow, look at this. They've even got a crate, <laughs> a crate of in the middle of the club. Like literally in the middle of the club, in the public area where like people are just drinking and stuff. And now I'm running with a duffel bag full of on my back. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody cares. This is so weird. I love it. Oh, here we go. Another very awkward looking couple. I don't know what's going on here, but it seems like this lady is putting it hard and fast on this guy who seems very, very uncomfortable. Come on, lady. Leave the poor man alone. And, ah, uh, yes, the accounting office. Exactly what I was looking for. All right, time to... Whoa. Hey, bro, sorry. <laughs> Let me just move out of your line of sight. Then everything's going to be okay, hey? Now, this is where the magic happens. If things all align as they should, then... Oh! <laughs> That's the best possible place that that could have been. Look at that. H200 green is the switch that we're looking for. Anyway, let's pick our way into the accountant's office because there is some stuff in here that we're going to need. Notably, the codes that are scattered about the place, like 2462. Then the other one that I believe is in here, 2084. Then we have the third one, which I'm pretty sure is inside of this safe. Yep, 0536. We also have some money here, so let's take that and stuff it in the back room for now. Along with the other bundle of money. And 
threatened with the brick of crack cocaine. We also have this red key card on the shelf, which we're definitely going to need. What we want to do now is pick up these three bags and then very gingerly escort them to the drop off point where nobody is going to bother with us because we are not doing anything sus. So we're going to head out here. Oh, hello, buddy. Sorry, mate. Sorry. I, took, I was looking for the toilet. I took a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> so crazy. And just like that, another bag. And another bag. And another bag. Now, to get that crypto wallet, there's two ways that we can go about doing it. The first being to flick that switch, and the other is to encourage the accountant to help us by forcibly slamming his face into the biometric scanner. To do that, though, I'd need to put on a mask if I wanted to take that guy hostage and slam his face into the wall, which I'm not going to do. But what I will do is take this money right off the table. Thank you, gentlemen. Enjoy your game. <laughs> Then that's another bag, baby! So let's head back here, look at the whiteboard H200 green, and go flick that switch, shall we? All right, H200 green. Where Where is the H200? All right, here we go, H200 green. Then all we need to do is to head back to the accountant's office and use his computer to open up the crypto wallet vault. It's all rather elementary, my dear Watson. Observe. And now it's done. And all we need to do is slip through the vent right here, and we're in, baby. Check this out. Boom! Hello, crypto wallet. Get in my pocket, you dirty trollop. <laughs> And just like that, the biggest loot piece has now been secured. Which means that I could leave if I wanted to, but I'm not leaving until that secure more loot or escape thing disappears from my screen, indicating that I've bled this place dry. Speaking of which, it looks like we've got a cheeky crate right here directly under that camera. Sorry, camera, just turn away for a second while I open up this box and... Oh, baby. And another one. There is, however, still more loot to be had. So let's find it. Gosh, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of white powder up in this club. But that just means more for me and the boys when we get home. All right, here we go. What do we got in here? Oh, all right. We found another box and vault room. Hello, loot. Let's empty this box first and then straight into the vault room. And funnily enough, the vault room itself doesn't even have a lock on the door. But the vault inside the vault room does. Unfortunately for them, I know the codes. Now, the codes are different to the ones we wrote down because the game crashed and I had to start again. But I know what they are now. It's one, four, four, one. Open sesame, bitch ass safe. And we're in. Look at all of this money, baby. That is to say that there has never been a testicle more tactical than us. We're very, very tactical testicle. Now, I'm not exactly sure whether there's any more loot down here, but what I do know is that there are a couple of paintings upstairs that we haven't gone yet. Now, typically those paintings are located somewhere that would be quite difficult to get to, but because we're certified VIPs, we can waltz straight on upstairs and nobody's going to stop us. And all I need to do is pick my way in here and there should be <clears throat> one there. One there and another one down the other end. So I'll borrow this and then just run it all the way downstairs. There is absolutely nothing sus <laughs> about a dude running with a duffel bag at 100 kilometers an hour through a nightclub. Pretty normal if it's a Friday night. Then now we race back upstairs and do it two more times. And I think the final bag that we haven't yet got is going to be in here somewhere, is it? Don't move. You're being detained. Oh, fuck. That's okay, relax. I'll just hack the guy and confuse him. And then I'll just walk away completely undetected. With that said, however, now everyone is searching. But it's okay because they don't know what they're searching for. I'll tell you right now, though, it isn't me. See, they <laughs> they don't even know. They've got no idea. Oh, thanks, guys. Just led me to the last bag. I, I forgot that there was a door there. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to be a, a nuisance. I'm just looking for this box that I seem to have forgotten. Now we'll just take this. Leave this room. It's all good. It's okay. Now, you all know why I took those hacking skills, eh? And now, that's all the loot. That is Rock the Cradle, Payday 3, on Overkill Difficulty. Mad stealth, bro. No mask. Just a civilian having a good time in a club with good people. Like this guy. So let's head to the escape point. And as I promised you at the beginning of this video, I will now show you how to do this mission in about three minutes flat to make an easy 400 grand. See you later, suckers. Stealth to the max, baby. Tactical testicle gang represent. Look at that, bro. Isn't that beautiful? So what we're going to do this time is make our way up to the front door, completely bypass it, and once again, slip through the back door like this. <laughs> like the cheeky backdoor bandits that we are. Then we're going to sprint through the back room, making sure that we don't stop so that the cameras don't detect us, and we're going to let ourselves into whatever the hell this room is. Then we want to wait for this camera to turn that way, 
we want to unlock this door and we're going to sprint from here to the bar and then crouch down and loop back around. The sound of our cute little footsies pitter pattering behind the bar attracted the guards to investigate and we stole his keycard and then used it to open up this door. Now we don't have to worry about that stupid broken VIP nonsense but because we weren't invited into the VIP area, cameras and security guards don't like us so we got to make sure that we remain fully tactical testicle. This is what we're going to need as the crypto wallet is the only thing we're taking on this speed run so let's go and get the code from the IT room which could be in one of three locations I don't know which one but let's put in our mask because we're going to have to shoot someone in the face if they get between us and what we're trying to accomplish. Let's head through here down to this vent and fingers crossed hope that this is the IT room no it's not that's fine let's just brain that guy hold on brain has a different meaning these days doesn't it and let's answer the radio and let them know that everything's fine except for the dude whose brains are all over the floor now we're going to head back out here sneak through this door and see if we can find the IT room which should be somewhere in this direction possibly through the public toilet vent which is right up here and yep a400 blue is what we're looking for. So now we head all the way back to the accountant's office again and popping off the balcony and using these things to make our way all the way back to the switch room. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was A400 blue. So let's open this up, flick the switch, and now we head back to the accountant's office once again. Bloop, 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 hacking the mainframe. And the vault is now open. All we need to do now is launch ourselves off the balcony back into the public toilet through the vent and collect the goods. With that done, we now want to make our way out this door and this is where things get a little bit tricky because we need to get it to the drop off point which isn't easy because there's a bloody guard here behind the freaking door because he's an idiot so I'm going to hack his radio because I can look at that hacked him he's like what bro what was happening I don't know what's happening then we're sneaking through here hoping that nobody looks in our direction gonna come over here and plop the thing right over there and now we just got to get back to where we started and hunky-dory everything's done. Crap. Security guard. If all the stars align and everything works out the way that it's meant to, you can do this in about two minutes. But I'm usually not so lucky and I'm extremely stupid. Nevertheless, we're going to make our way... Oh, look, it's the vault. We're going to make our way back to where we need to get to to escape this hellhole. And we might need to just bust a couple of caps and run up to the door. Oh, sh... This is the wrong way. That's fine. That's fine. Just run. 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 It's okay. The thing hasn't triggered yet as long as we run up here before the thing triggers and that's it that's all you got to do you run up here and done too late man that right there is how you make an easy 425,000. it took me five minutes 42 because i was you know stupid but you can do it in much less if you're not stupid thanks for watching this stupid video bye